<clears throat> Hello. For people who need to know, or should I say, don't know how to install planes they downloaded for FSX, I'll show a simple, probably not real good done video of how to do it. But anyway, which I know it's a FSX server, so friends are always asking me and the other admin. Anyway, here we go. You can see I got kill folders. These have this one is the of all the planes. I have I got a lot, and this is one of some of the planes I downloaded. And all these planes for me are in here. So if I if I, if you see uh, thing pop up says, do you want to replace this file with this? Your conflicting file thing. That's just because I have the plane already. I'm gonna show you the where to put it and drop it in. Anyway, I'll minimize these and show you how to get there or get to them. Anyway, what I would use is my computer, which I would actually go down here, core here, computer, and then I'll go to the drive. That has Steam on it. Since uh, for me, I have a uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 10 Steam Edition on my terabyte disk drive. So click that. Program Files 86. Uh, go to Steam. Then you want to go to uh, Steam Apps. Common. And FSX. And then here we got all this stuff. What you want to pay attention to is effects, gauges. Where is it? Sim objects, sound and texture. I was playing around with uh, trying to f figure out a crash. That's why these are here. Because I didn't want to exactly delete the old files. And I was troubleshooting a while ago. Anyway. I'll bring this down here, and I'll bring up my downloads. Now you got, let's say, I gotta use the F22 Raptor. This here, it's got one file. It's got all this stuff: texture, sound, panel, model. If all that stuff's within a folder, name of the with the name of the airplane, you can just bring. Well, hang on here. Yeah. If you got this, you want to open up sim objects, go to airplanes, and just drag and drop it in. And then, let's go see what else I got here. FA37, it's all there. Yes. Where's my Concord? Manual. Now, like this, again, I can just drop it over into sim objects and all the aircraft should work. Down works. Don't remember which one it is that everything's outside. Uh, but yeah, if you get one that has just all the here, just to do it, I'll put that one in. Yeah, if you get one like this where it's just from a zip. Straight to all these, you gotta. Well, actually, you could put these in in each individual thing in here, each like gauge, effect stuff. Or what I did was, I made a new folder and name it something. You know, let's see, hot air. Balloon, since it was a hot air balloon. Then what I do is take all this stuff, copy. I copy, not cut, because you don't, you know, take it all out and have an empty zip, and then you go, oh, I got this plane, give it to a friend, and it's just empty zip. Anyway, copy, paste. This folder is empty, now it's not. Then take that, once everything's in, and just drag it into the Sim objects and airplanes and dragging here, here you go, done. And that's basically how it works.
something like that. Hopefully this is useful, and hopefully I didn't butcher myself. It is how like, well, you can probably tell what time it is. But anyway, call it good. I should put this on YouTube. Anyway, hope you get this stuff to work, and have a great day flying your planes. Bye.